Hello everybody, this is Ask Joshi, and we are here now for the weekly vault opening in Legends of Runeterra open beta for the first weekend. We got the max level vault here with three diamond chests, so that's 4,000 experience just this level actually, it's a ton, ton of time. I think it took uh, 22 to 23 hours of playing across four days to get to this level, but this is the highest you can get. Each diamond chest has three capsules in it and a vast amount of shards. Uh, I saw some reports on Reddit of what people were opening. It seemed like it was between 1,700 and 2,200 shards, uh, zero, one, or two champion cards. So we're hoping for champion cards above all else. Time to open this sucker. We got the expedition token because we hit at least level 10 on the weekly vault. That goes to everybody who hits level 10. Click to continue. Okay, draft token, we knew that. Diamond chest one of three. Looks like we got Fleet Feathers playable, War Chefs playable, Glimpse Beyond playable, Highwaymen playable, Academy Prodigy, maybe not. Haven't seen it too much. Blade's Edge playable, Stirred Spirits maybe. Guile, I've actually found that to be a little too slow for the Yasuo. So maybe not a great pack here. <laughs> Bunches of rares though. Mm, don't really see any of these. Maybe Entreat in specific decks. 730 shards in that one. Next up. Astute Academic is playable. Rush is playable. Avaros and Trapper, you don't really see so much. Flame Chomper is definitely a staple card in discard decks. Pew, 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 pew. Unlicensed Innovation, we do want. Rummage can go in a Jinx deck. Mystic Shot... We need anyway. Rare wild card does feel good. 60 shards for a, an extra copy as well. So these are playable. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Heimer Ez is actually a deck I'm interested in building. So Mystic Shot and Unlicensed Innovation both appreciated there. Decimate playable, Judgment playable, Arachnoid Host. Actually, I need one of these right now for a deck I already have with Elise and Darius. Pursuit, not so much. Trefarian Assessor. Don't think you'll see that outside of Expeditions. 702 shards there, so we're up to 1,400, over 1,400, probably 1,500 now with the copies that we had. Upgrade from a common to a wild card is appreciated. Scrap dash is needed for Ezheimer. Health potion, not so much. Rising spell force, not so much. I have seen that used extremely rarely in the Fiora deck, but you would need to be, I don't know. It's not maybe not the most optimal Fiora deck. A couple of copies, Crawling Sensation for spiders, another Jinx card, Vengeance is a good removal. That will want for Heimer as Deathmark. There is actually an ephemeral deck with Zed and Hecarim that Deathmark is in, and it's being played in super high levels of ranked right now. So Deathmark's pretty cool. Solitary Monk I have seen as part of an elusive plan before. Not my favorite because Recall all other allies is usually usually a detriment, usually not a benefit. Heart of the Fluff. If I ever do want to make a Poro deck, and Tiana Crown Guard I have seen once or twice but it looks like we only got 534 shards in that one um we got zero champions 2087 dust as a result of having a few duplicates not super thrilled by that it's only two-thirds of a champion card um we got some heimer ez tools but no heimer or ez so that was our max level chest and now we are back to level one Unlocking next Tuesday at 3 a.m. Pacific time for people in Pacific time zone. That's me. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the opening of the vault, even though it ended up not being that crazy. Um, we're going to get some progress started on this one now. So swing by twitch.tv slash askjoshi, and odds are I'll either be streaming or there will be a VOD that you can check out from my previous stream. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, etc., etc., and I'll see you next time.